Great Night BIS learners who are watching now. I am your science teacher, Ma'am Winnie Kayan. Very excited to bring you today's lesson in Grade 8 Science. So what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax, and join us as we tackle about earthquake, intensity, and magnitude. Quarter 2, Week 3, Differentiate the Intensity of an Earthquake from its Magnitude. Now, get your pen, paper, and activity sheet. Be sure you have already eaten your meal as we go through our discussion. Are you ready now for today's lesson? That's great! But before I introduce you to our topic, let's have a short review of the previous lesson. Which is about earthquake epicenter and focus. We all know that the earthquake is the shaking of the earth's surface resulting from the sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere. An earthquake epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface directly above the focus. During an earthquake, the strongest shaking occurs at the epicenter. While the earthquake focus is the place inside the Earth's crust where an earthquake originates, now, we are done with our review. And to test your prior knowledge in today's lesson, let's try to answer the following question by choosing your preferred answer. Are you now ready? Let us start! Oh, or false. Question number one. Intensity is a measure of an earthquake determined from the observed effects, especially damage. True or false? Okay, the correct answer is true. Question number two. Basically, the magnitude corresponds to how much energy is released. True or false? Okay. The correct answer is true. Question number three. During intensity three, most people are frightened and run outdoors. True or false? The correct answer is false. Question number four. In reading earthquake's magnitude, we use Hindu Arabic. True or false? The correct answer is true. Last question, point number five. Earthquakes that fall between 6.0 6.9 on the scale are considered minor. True or false? The correct answer is false. Well done, learners! I guess you are now ready for today's lesson. This time, I will discuss to you the earthquake magnitude and intensity. I hope that we will be able to achieve our objectives for today. Objective At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Differentiate the intensity of an earthquake from its magnitude And Number 2. Identify and describe the different Richter magnitude scale and P-Box Earthquake Intensity Scale. Earthquakes are among the most deadly natural hazards. There are around 100 earthquakes each year of a size 
that could cause serious damage. They strike without warning, and many of the Earth's earthquake zones coincide with areas of high population density. When large earthquakes occur in such areas, the results can be catastrophic, with terrible loss of human lives and untold economic costs. Both magnitude and intensity are used to measure the strength of an earthquake. Now, let's define first what is magnitude. Magnitude measures the energy release at the source of the earthquake. We can measure the magnitude of an earthquake through the use of an instrument called seismograph. Do you know how does a seismograph work? When the ground shakes, it shakes the base of the seismograph. But the pen stays steady because the heavy weight will tend to stay still because of its resistance to motion. The Richter magnitude scale tells us how much energy is released during an earthquake. The scale is based on movement and energy release not the damage. Charles Francis Richter is the most famous as the creator of the Richter Magnitude Scale, which until the development of the Moment Magnitude Scale in 1979 quantified the size of earthquakes. He first used this scale in 1935 after developing it in collaboration with Benno Gothenburg. The Richter Magnitude Scale has three columns. These are for the description, Richter Magnitudes and Earthquakes Effects. For the micro, less than 2.0 micro earthquakes, not felt. Very minor, 2.0 to 2.9 usually not felt but recorded. Minor, 3.0 to 3.9 open felt but rarely causes damage. Light, 4.0 to 4.9 noticeably shaking of indoor items, rattling noises, significant damage unlikely. For moderate, 5.0 to 5.9 can cause major damage to poorly constructed buildings over small regions. Slight damage to well-designed buildings. Strong, 6.0 to 6.9 can be destructive in areas up to about 100 miles across in populated areas. Major, 7.0 to 7.9 can cause serious damage over larger areas. For grade, 8.0 to 8.9 can cause serious damage in areas several hundred miles across. And for rail grade, 9.0 or greater, devastating in areas several thousand miles across. The intensity measures the strength of shaking produced by the earthquake at a certain location. Intensities determine from effects on people, human structure, and natural environment. Do you still remember the Bohol earthquake in October 15, 2013, wherein it was considered as the deadliest earthquake in the Philippines in 23 years since the 1990 Luzon earthquake? The energy released by the quake was equivalent to 32 of the bombs dropped in Hiroshima and it has a magnitude of 7.2. The intensity is variable 
over the area affected by the earthquake with high intensities near the epicenter and lower values farther away. These are allocated a value depending on the effects of the shaking according to the PBOX earthquake intensity scale. This is the PBOX earthquake intensity scale or the PEIS. It has a Roman numeral 1 to 10, 1 for scarcely perceptible, 2 slightly felt, 3 weak, 4 moderately strong, 5 strong, 6 very strong, 7 destructive, 8 very destructive, 9 devastating, and 10, completely devastating. We are finally done with our discussion. So I guess you are now ready to take the quiz. Kindly prepare any sheet of paper for our evaluation. Good luck and God bless! Multiple choice question number 1. It measures the energy release at the source of the earthquake. Letter A, epicenter. Letter B, focus. Letter C, magnitude. And letter D, intensity. Okay, go. Stop. The correct answer is letter C, magnitude. For question number two, it measures the strength of shaking produced by the earthquake at a certain location. Letter A, epicenter. Letter B, focus. Letter C, magnitude. And letter D, intensity. Go! Stop! The correct answer is letter D, intensity. For question number 3, in reading earthquake's intensity, we use blank. A. Kilometers B. Roman numerals C. Miles or letter D. Hindu Arabic Go! Stop! The correct answer is letter B. Roman numerals For question number 4 P-Box stands for blank A. Philippine Institute of Volcanoes and Society Letter B, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Letter C, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seizures. And letter D, Philippine Institute of Volcanoes and Sea. Go! Stop! The correct answer is letter B, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Last question for number 5. Which is the best thing to do when you are outdoors during an earthquake? Letter A. Shout for help. Letter B. Look for a tree or post to lean on. Letter C. Run towards the nearest house or building. And letter D. Stay away from electric wires, posts, and similar structures. Go! Stop! The correct answer is letter B. Congratulations! So much for watching and see you at next session. Again, I am Amwini Kayana, your science teacher, saying... The aim of education is the knowledge, not of facts, but of values. God bless everyone!